In the previous part, we continued our work on Sony Handycam CCD F500E. We recapped the two main boards, which power and also control the video cassette recorder on the camcorder. In this episode, we'll be recapping the final two boards and we'll also be giving the camcorder a good clean. So, without further ado, let's begin the final part of the restoration. So we have one side of the shell for the camcorder which houses two boards. The first board that we will be looking at allows you to hit the record button to record footage onto the video 8 tape. We first have to unscrew the board from the main shell. We next have to disconnect the two cables which are connected to the board, which will then allow us to free the board. With the board now free, we can now remove the old caps by adding no clean flux and adding solder to each leg. With this, both capacitors easily drop out. We then clean the pads up with solder braid and IPA and then install the brand new capacitors. And with the capacitors now installed, we can now reinstall it back into the shell. And the final board that we're going to work on is located inside the viewfinder. With the two screws already removed in part one, we now have four additional screws that we need to remove. First, we remove the two screws which hold the electronic viewfinder to the main body shell. With the viewfinder now removed, we can now twist the eye cap and remove the two final remaining screws. And on the board we have two surface mount capacitors and two through hole capacitors which we need to replace. And one by one we remove the capacitors from the board. And like the previous boards, I installed the new caps and any damaged pads, I fixed them with a wire. And with all the boards now recapped, we can now move on and clean all the dirty shells. First, we have to remove the boards and the microphone, which are still attached to the shell. And with all the boards now removed, let's now unscrew and remove the hand strap. And the final piece to remove is this metal piece, which helps with the rotation of the viewfinder. And with all the dirty shells now ready, let's give each of them a well-deserved wash. One by one, each piece is washed in warm soapy water and using a brush to remove all the old dirt and grime built up over the years. With everything now washed, I leave them to dry out in the sun before bringing them back in to do the final reassembly. So, let's begin the final reassembly. Before we reassemble the camcorder, I want to install a new cover to this microphone. It's a simple installation, but well needed. And reinstalled it along with the other boards around the shell. We then reinstall the camcorder's hand strap by screwing it down to the shell. 
We then move on to reassembling the two main parts of the internals of the camcorder. And we reinstall all the wired and ribbon cables. I replaced the original black tape used to hold a cable stand with fresh new tape. And with the majority of cables now connected, let's now reinstall the tripod mounting plate to the shell. And any switches before reinstalling the camcorder to the outer shells. And reinstalling all the screws. And let's not forget to reassemble the viewfinder. And remember to take your time with this process as it can be quite fiddly to reassemble the viewfinder. And apply fresh grease to the moving parts which will allow the viewfinder to move smoothly up and then reinstall it to the second half of the shell. We reinstalled the record button, the corresponding plate and screw down the first ground cable. We then have to bring both shelves together so we can connect the remaining cables. And with all the cables now plugged in, we can now close and lock both shelves together. and one by one put in the final remaining screws and reattaching the control boards and screwing them down. And finally we need to screw back on the cassette recorder cover. So after a long restoration process of the CCD F500D, everything is almost finally completed. So let's do some tests to see if everything's working. So we power on the device, wait, and as we see it, we get an image, which is great news. So the next test is to see whether we can now eject and insert a video 8 tape. So the door opens which is fantastic because before the recap it was impossible to even have the door open and shows that a recap was essential to fixing the problem. So let's try it and put in a video 8 tape into the camcorder. So with the video I take now accepted and ready to go, let's film some test footage. So the first test I did was compare the footage I had recorded before the recap and as you can see the results are incredible. The new footage no longer has any noise to the image and the colours are more vibrant than before. And here is some additional footage I had recorded on the camcorder. So I wanted to do another test to show you 
what the audio sounds like coming from the internal microphone. So I'm around about three feet away from the CCD F500D and I'm facing directly at the camera I am. So hopefully you can hear what I'm saying right now to you and yeah, just to give you an example of what it sounds like. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed the journey of restoring the CCD F500D. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye for now.